Hello Twitch, uh, good afternoon, uh, this is Captain Nav, and uh, this is uh, um, attempt number two uh, to get this flight done from um, uh, Athens to uh, Larnaca on the 777-300ER. Uh, uh, ER. I will do the exterior inspection for you, Captain. Okay, so while he's uh, away to do the walk around, uh, in the meantime we've checked the tech log, everything is in, in order, there's no defects, everything is good, and uh, we are um, basically uh, ready to, uh, to get going. Um, all the uh, checks have been done, and the initial checks in the flight deck have been done, and uh, we are all good. So what I'll do now is uh, jump into the uh, FMC and get the FMC going. So, what I'll do... Okay, I'm looking at other things in the other computer. Yep, that's fine. Um, so we're on the 300ER, that's the correct engine rating. The Iraq is the new one, uh, August 18th, September 14. The fuel flow, like always, with disregard here. Uh, then the um, reference airport is uh, LGAV. Uh, we'll take the uh, GPS position, uh, that's it. And we'll request the route, the company route, LGAV LCLK01. Here we are. Uh, we request. So this is actually a good simulation of the uh, data link uh, system on the aircraft. Um, obviously with the limitations of the simulation, but basically uh, you would uh, request the route and uh, the aircraft would communicate with the uh, uh, dispatch uh, system of the airline and then as you get the ding dong, uh, the route is uh, ready to be uh, loaded and you would l uh, load uh, the route into the FMC and you get this message route 1 uplink loading which you can clear and uh, initially it will give you uh, the uh, uh, destin uh, the uh, departure and the destination and uh, then it will give you the route and uh, some stage later on it will also give you the flight number which uh, uh, and the uh, perfect uplink as well but yeah, the flight number is not given by uh, the data link uh, here in uh, the PMDG aircraft. I guess because it doesn't really know what the flight number is going to be. So you've got to enter it manually here. And it wouldn't give you the runway uh, number either. So the first thing is that we're going to check the flight plan. Uh, so let me check something. I'll uh, show the flight plan in um, uh, the text message. And uh, so, exclusion uh, route. Is this not working? I was trying to. Uh, to put the route in the system in the chat box, but it doesn't seem to be working. some reason it's not working. I'll try to get that sorted out later on. Oh yeah. I see why it's not working. Because I've not done it for a while. So if you can bear with me two seconds. try again to share the route with you. Here's the route. So it's uh, Varex Apolima 995 to uh, Rhodos, I think, Romeo Delta Sierra, upper mic 601 to uh, Dasni, and then uh, Romeo uh, 19 to Bonek, and then uh, it's the arrival. 
so we'll activate and execute then we go to the perfinite page we'll check the reserve uh, so I'll show you uh, the fuel as well so the reserve basically is gonna be uh, the alternate fuel to uh, pathos so 3.2 plus the reserve of uh, 3.1 that's gonna be 6.3 so once again uh, you can't really uh, have the accurate figure here in the uh, aircraft so 6.3 by the way is the rest is uh, I'm not sure why it gives us 370 the actual level is going to be 310 the uh, cost index also it doesn't know which cost index is going to be so it gives you the default cost index and the cruise CG as well I'll change to 30% so that's all good now we can go to departure arrival it's gonna be runway 03 right here in uh, Athens and then the uh, Varex uh, 1 echo so we've got now uh, the origin the uh, destination we've got the runway and the uh, flight number and then we go to the next page check that the uh, departure is in no discontinuity that's the case so we can execute then to the legs page and the uh, legs page will check with the chart that uh, everything is correct so we've got the charts on the uh, other computer so basically we're going to uh, 3000 feet I actually delete that because I don't want to be restricted It's not gonna let me delete it. Okay, well, okay, that's no problem. Uh, 3,000 feet then uh, towards uh, Caristos. Caristos NDB, 6,000 feet or above. And then we go to Varix, which is uh, correct. And then we go to the wood data and load uh, the winds. can check the winds all the winds are in and they make sense so execute and then the decent forecast uh, winds are also ready so we go to the decent page forecast and uh, load the winds uh, that's it and then now right we can leave the progress page the total distance we check with the flight plan 516 miles that's uh, fairly close to uh, where we have so we can uh, be sure that's correct and we do a root copy on root 2 and then back to root 1 we check that all the data links uh, are ready and uh, none are outstanding here then we can put the uh, MSA around uh, Athens just for reference that's based on uh, Sierra Papa Alpha Sierra Papa Alpha I'll take the first one, that's the correct one. Uh, 25 miles for uh, picturing the uh, uh, MSA around the airport. Hey, thank you very much for the uh, uh, follow, uh, Peter Loki. Thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. And I uh, hope uh, you enjoy the stream so far. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the uh, pre-flight for the uh, FMC done. So the captain will take the uh, perfinite page, and the uh, first officer will take root uh, one page, the root page, and page number two. I uh, will leave it at that. In the meantime, I'll do my uh, pre-flight flow, and I'll ask the uh, multi experience. Uh, first officer to do uh, his flow as well and uh, during the flow also, also I cannot really speak so if I stay quiet for a while then uh, you know what pre-flight flow okay pre-flight
pre-flight complete. Excellent, he's done the pre-flight, we are all uh, fueled up uh, so we can do the, the briefing, so the briefing I'm not going to really go into uh, too much uh, detail here uh, I do it uh, often enough um, but basically it will be a, a left seat takeoff runway 03 right uh, initially 3000 feet and uh, on the uh, Varix uh, 1 uh, echo departure so I'll unfly the departure a little bit and uh, then uh, uh, we climb uh, it's basically probably going to be an open climb and there's no uh, there's no ATC around so uh, it's not an issue uh, so let's say uh, the briefing is complete uh, I'm not gonna delve into that too much I uh, will do the pre-flight uh, checklist pre-flight checklist pre-flight checklist Oxygen tested. Flight instruments. Heading set, altimeter set. Parking rate set. Fuel control switches cut off. Pre flight checklist complete. Thank you very much. Cool. Uh, he's not very polite today. <laughs> he's not answering. Anyway, um. So, uh, in the meantime, I'll call uh, this dude and uh, the catering is on, so we'll do the boarding. It's quite a busy flight today. I think the other day when I uh, had uh, the first attempt at uh, this flight, uh, the pushback was not uh, a correct pushback, it just pushes back just straight. So it's probably going to do the same today, so I'll just bear that in mind. And uh, yeah, we're just uh, going to do the performance now. So I'll uh, send a link in the chat about all the weights. So we've got 347 passengers per 7 infants and uh, the zero fuel weight is uh, 209 tons which is already in. Got 209 plus uh, 17 tons of fuel. That's a takeoff weight of uh, uh, 226.0 minus the taxi fuel. That will be about 225.3 uh, which is uh, uh, what we have uh, here in the uh, uh, load uh, planning. Uh, then it's a fairly long runway. Uh, we'll take uh, an assume of uh, 60 degrees. We're fairly light. I don't have the performance here for for the aircraft, so I can't really do it. Uh, and then uh, engine height, acceleration height is uh, 1,000 feet. Acceleration height is uh, 3,000. Which is basically when we're gonna start uh, accelerating and uh, retract the flaps, and the thrust reduction is uh, 1500, which is basically when we're gonna transition from uh, the derated takeoff thrust to uh, to the climb thrust. Then we come back to uh, the takeoff rev page, uh, page one, the flaps. Uh, we're gonna go for flaps five. Uh, CG is automatically done by. Uh, PMDG, then 146, 151, and 159, and 159 is the VRF. So that was a good guess. I uh, will go uh, LNAV, VNAV, uh, track 034 for runway 03 right, and initially uh, 3,000 feet. So that's all set. I uh, will start the uh, APU. Hopefully the uh, boarding is not going to take too long, and then we can uh, we can get going to uh, Larnaca today. Morning. Let's have a look outside. See what's going on. Uh, the containers are just coming. Oof. 
It's five containers, that's gonna take forever. Okay. No worries. So the first container is coming on, still passengers coming on as well. So I said it's a fairly busy flight. So I can see uh, the APU uh, is in the status page. And we've got like information such as the uh, RPM, the EGT, the oil pressure, oil temperature and oil quantity. So uh, once we get to 100% uh, then we get the message APU running, I believe. And, uh, yeah, the APU is now running. I almost 100%. And the EGT is stabilized, more or less. So it's all good. If we look at the uh, electrics, uh, the electrics is this one. Uh, at the moment, the uh, APU is uh, feeding in the left uh, main bus, which in turn uh, feeds the uh, left. Uh, transfer bus and the primary external power is still uh, feeding the right main bus which in turn feeds the, uh, the right transfer bus so when I uh, switch the uh, APU on the uh, APU uh, the uh, secondary external power was feeding the left main bus but when the APU comes online then it automatically disconnects the uh, secondary external power and feeds the uh, left main bus and now what we can do is uh, the secondary external power, as you can see uh, up on the uh, overhead, is now showing available. And then, uh, if so it's disconnected. And uh, now if I press the uh, primary external power uh, button, then we're going to disconnect the uh, primary uh, external power. As you can see, and the EPU is now feeding uh, both uh, uh, left and right main uh, electric buses. So the passengers are boarded, uh, we're just waiting for the bags to come on, uh, we are basically uh, ready to go, uh, just waiting for the uh, containers to come on. So as the passengers are boarded, uh, we can uh, close some of the doors, we'll close the, uh, right, this one, this one, this one at the back. L5, uh, we close L1 and L2. And then we'll arm all these doors. That's done. So basically, we only have the uh, the cargo doors opened at this stage. I'm still loading the containers, and uh, what I'll do as well. Uh, we've got the parking brake set. Parking brake is set, so we'll go once again to the uh, FS actions uh, page and go to uh, ground connections. Uh, the uh, External power is disconnected uh, from uh, the main uh, buses, so we can uh, disconnect the ground power and then the parking brake is set so we can remove the trucks as well. And the only uh, thing we need to do is uh, close the uh, cargo doors uh, before going. And then as far as all the ground equipment and all the doors and things like that are concerned, we are good to go. So hopefully it's not going to take too long, I still have uh, two containers to go and after that uh, we can uh, get cracking. So I'll show you a little bit around uh, the area, it's uh, Athens airport, so this is runway uh, 03 right, we'll uh, take off in this direction and uh, 
I believe the uh, actual uh, city of uh, Athens is uh, behind those uh, mountains here on the other side so when we're gonna take off uh, in this direction here and then turn right so we're gonna kind of go away from uh, the city uh, so we're not gonna really see the city itself but it's a fairly uh, scenic area very very nice so the last but one container is uh, going up so it shouldn't be too long now Very uh, often uh, we are indeed uh, waiting for the last uh, cargo uh, containers to, uh, to come on. Uh, for some reason they always come up uh, last minute. So this is actually what would happen uh, in real. You'd be uh, ready to go in the flight deck but still waiting for the cargo to come on. So, um, uh, ground services uh, X will uh, give us uh, the all clear as far as the uh, cargo loading is uh, concerned and as soon as we get the message then we'll uh, check outside everything's clear, uh, close the cargo doors and uh, uh, get going. So as I said, if I remember, the um, pushback will be a straight pushback. It doesn't really uh, push back properly here. Uh, it's probably due to the uh, airport file. Uh, it's not really a concern, really. Let's have a look outside again. Yeah, so at the front uh, they are finished, and at the back uh, we're just uh, getting the last container on, and then uh, we'll be good to go. Fantastic! It goes just below the belly of the aircraft. I'm not sure it will be high enough unless the vehicle is uh, fairly small, but otherwise. Although the uh, the belly of uh, the aircraft is uh, is fairly high, uh, but yeah, they wouldn't really do that in real. Boarding complete. I have to go. Okay, so the dispatcher is done. Boarding complete. All the steps I can go away. The cargo doors are closing automatically. I think that's uh, multi core experience doing that. And the uh, uh, ground stuff is uh, going away as well. And uh, clearing the area. So we can jump in the fly deck. Before start flow. Uh, Roger. Recall engine shut down TCAS off. Cancel ICAS. ICAS clear. Pressed.
ready for before start checklist. Before start checklist. Before start checklist. Flight set door. Closed and locked. Passenger signs as required. MCP. Set. Take off speeds. Set. CDU pre flight. Completed. Trim. Set. Taxi and take off refit. Completed. Beacon on. Before start. Checklist complete. Cool. So we are basically uh, ready to go. Uh, we've done the before start uh, flow and the before start checklist. And uh, yeah, just waiting for the ground crew to. Uh, to push us back. So once again, there's no ATC online, so it's not a problem. Oh, there is. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. All right, let's contact this good man. One one eight six two. Athens Star, good uh, afternoon, uh, uh, Emirates uh, 108 on uh, stand Alpha 3. Emirates 108, good evening sir, 5x5, so I hit. Request uh, clearance to uh, Larnaca please, Emirates uh, uh, 108. Eminence 108, heavy, you are clear. Larnaca Airport, Firefarix, 1, Tango, departure, flight black group, emission climb 7,000 feet, stroke 7226. Confirm, remove, parking brake now. Release parking brake. Okay, uh, we are clear to uh, uh, Larnaca, Varix, uh, 1, Tango, departure. Initially, uh, 7,000 feet and squawk 7226, Emirates uh, 108. Emirates 108, your read back is correct. Start up and push back approved, facing south on Emirates 100. Next report, wind ready for taxi. Push and start approved to uh, face south, uh, Kenich 1010, zero zero, uh, we'll go Emirates 108. So there's a bit of an update on the departure, it's the Varix uh, 1 Tango, uh, which is going to be what departure is that? Oh yeah, here it is. Varix one tango. So we go back into the FMC zero three right. Uh, Varix one tango. Not that it matters because after uh, tower there's no more ATC, but just fly whatever we were cleared for. And uh, seven thousand feet is the clear altitude. Uh, basically, we go straight ahead, uh, 3,000 feet or above, 210, then to uh, uh, Karistos, and then to uh, Varig. So it's fairly similar, actually. Uh, it's good. And then we'll go back to the uh, birth page. 209 is good. Thrust limit will still take 60 degrees. Uh, 
acceleration height and the same flap 5 60 degrees and it's gonna give us the same speeds 159 and uh, VRF uh, 30 142 let's check okay okay that's all good uh, now we can push again Oh, okay. Push back and progress. Why? It's not really in progress, is it? Anyway, we'll see what happens. I'll try to see if we release the parking brake. Maybe we'll push. Speech recognition, dialog mode. Speech recognition, flight mode. Speech recognition, dialog mode. Speech recognition, flight mode. So the parking brake is released. Uh, the uh, the whole thing is messed up. Ah, what's happening with? Uh... Okay, GSX is uh, kaput. Okay, so we'll revert to the good old uh, PMDG push. Push back. Uh, we're gonna go in meters. Uh, he wants us to go to the south, so south is pointing to the uh, left. So turn the nose to the right. No, it's to the left. Ninety degrees. Stopped. And uh, ground cockpit. Hi, Captain. We're all set to go up here. We've been cleared to push and start at your discretion. Emirates uh, 108 is now uh, pushing to face south. Emirates 108, Roger said. Uh, report when you're ready for taxi. Welcome, uh, Emirates 108. Start the right engine. Aborting start, engine two. Start right engine. Engaging starter, engine two. Start valve open, engine two. N2. Fuel flow, engine two. Start a cutout, engine two. Start left engine. Start in engine number one. Start valve open, engine 1, N2. Fuel flow, engine 1. The push is actually better with the uh, PMDG than with uh, 
GSX for some reason. Beautiful. Starter cutouts, engine one. Before taxi flow. Okay. Recall ready for the checklist. Push is complete, set back and ready, please. Alright, brakes are set and uh, pressure is normal. Okay, sir, no bar is on, pin is out, watch the pin on the right. Alright, guys, thanks, you're cleared to disconnect. We will uh, be watching for the pin and the release from guidance on the right side of the airplane, and uh, we'll see you guys next time through. Right to that, have a good time. Flaps 5. Flaps 5 selected. Before taxi checklist. Before taxi checklist. Anti ice. Auto. Recall. Checked. Auto brake. RTO. Flight controls. Checked. Ground equipment. Clear. Before taxi checklist complete. Emirates uh, 108 uh, request taxi. Okay, confirm, sorry. Confirm transponder code. Emirates 108, taxi via Delta, Delta 2, holding point runway 038. Taxi via Delta, Delta 2, holding point uh, runway 03, right, Emirates 108. Alright, so the uh, status messages are gone, which is good. Uh, anyway, this page should be blanked. Ready for taxi flow. Sure. Good afternoon, uh, Ryanair 37 Lima, Quebec at uh, stand 4. Uh, uh, sorry, Foxtrot 05, uh, request radio check. So, Delta. Ryanair right, uh, 37 Lima, Quebec 5x5, five five, sir. It's going to be to the left. Roger 555, five, five. thank you uh, for right there, 37. And I am at 37, you might be back. Sir, you need uh, a valid uh, flight plan uh, from Athens to Corfu. Roger, sir, just, uh, we'll just uh, look at that now, uh, right there, 37, we'll go back. Uh, if you check uh, your flight plan, uh, missing uh, the standard uh, departure from Athens, and uh, this point is actually missing. Take off uh, review okay, flow. Take off review flow. Yes. Okay. Uh, I am you might back. Uh, missing your standard uh, departure uh, runway point. correct V two set VFD and runway track correct initial altitude set trim set oh, Roger, sir. could we uh, take FMC the set, uh, transponder set echo, uh, November Delta one thank you departure you want me to send you a flight then uh, from uh, Athens to Corfu nothing here uh, for you I think. Or uh, you're ready to set up everything. Okay, the cabin is ready. Before takeoff checklist. Uh, could you please uh, send us a uh, Before takeoff checklist? One second, sir. Flaps. Set. Before takeoff checklist complete. 
Very good, we are good to go. So Delta 2 is a bit of an intersection takeoff, but not by much. As I said, I don't have the performance here, so... It's all eyeballed here, but... There's no... Anyway, it's on zero eight, set squawk seven two two six, please. Uh, squawk seven two two six, uh, that's uh, two, uh, one zero eight. Yeah, that's the one thing I forgot about. Hold on. So we'll stop the aircraft. Let's get going. Oops. <laughs> Emirates uh, 108 ready for departure. Emirates 108, wind 040, degrees 180 knots, runway 03 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway uh, 03 right, Emirates 108. Clear for takeoff. Runway entry flow. Uh, Roger. Cabin crew repair or take off. Approaching zero three right. Gear up. Gear coming up. Gear up and locked. One zero eight, heavy. Sweet unicorn. One two two decimal eight. Bye, sir. Have a nice flight. One two two decimal eight. Uh, Emirates uh, one zero eight. Thank you very much for your help. Bye bye. Flaps one. Flaps one selected. Verified. Flaps up. Flaps coming up.
After takeoff uh, checklist. After takeoff checklist. Flaps verified. Land gear up. Flaps up. After takeoff checklist complete. Okay, so that's us all set. I'll uh, finish to a hand flight this uh, turn coming now, and then engage the autopilot. Five seven, uh, we Quebec. We are sound uh, stop shots. We have information alpha. We have a press conference path. Five seven, you make a bit. You are clear. To Call for airport via pickup, one time with departure, flight plan route, initially climb 7,000 feet, squawk 7216. Uh, okay. Thank you, uh, Sit down sign, uh, auto. And we are all done. Good to climb. Forgot to reset the transition altitude there. So the default uh, 18,000 for the states. That's why we got uh, when I set uh, standard and uh, the flight level 140 was set, they were still showing the amber down here. Anyway, we are now good on our way to uh, Larnaca. It's a fairly short flight, an hour and uh, ten minutes. So far, so good. Top of descent already in, uh, in about uh, 45 minutes from now, 46 minutes from now. Okay, so even with uh, and assume a uh, temperature of uh, 60 degrees, I think it was. Uh, still climbing like a rocket. So. Alright, now we'll go to 1228 again. It was nice of uh, Athens uh, Tower. Um, it's good to have a little bit of uh, ATC around. Unfortunately, I only saw he was uh, on uh, the last uh, minute uh, to do a few uh, corrections uh, to the flight plan and to the uh, sequence and uh, ground services X. Uh, lost the plot. But that was uh, still nice to have ATC and actually uh, PMDG uh, pushback did a uh, good job on this one better than GSX because GSX would just have pushed me uh, straight back as uh, with PMDG you can kind of do the turn and he did the turn exactly uh, well more or less on the line so that was good
I said earlier on, lovely uh, scenery, lovely uh, Greek islands, really, really nice. Basically, we're gonna get to the top of climb at the end of the standard instrument departure, which is which is nice. The transition was uh, 9,000 feet, and in uh, Larnaca, it's gonna be transition uh, level 110. the forecast page, decent forecast page in set 110 already. Lovely day out there, only a few clouds around. So more or less as soon as we get to the top of climb, uh, I'll have to look at uh, the descent into uh, Larnaca. It's a very, uh, very short flight. Speed, speed, very good speed. I want to go. So usually in uh, RVSM airspace, so from uh, flight level 290 up to uh, flight level 410, uh, the rate of climb in the last uh, 1000 feet uh, should be uh, a maximum of 1500 feet per minute, ideally uh, 1000 feet per minute or less. So if you see that uh, the aircraft is uh, still climbing a little bit like a rocket with uh, a good rate of climb, got spare capacity on on the performance then it's uh, it's good uh, it's a good thing to uh, use vertical speed and reduce your rate of climb to a thousand feet per minute Go out we have path
So not much traffic around in the cruise, so there shouldn't be any uh, traffic issues. Top of descent is already calculated to be in uh, 325 miles, although the arrival is not in. And uh, starting the descent in uh, 38 minutes. Possibly a little bit more. Uh, once we put the arrival in. So if, uh, if we have an engine failure at this stage, the engine out is uh, for level 289, so we can go down to uh, flight level 270 in this direction. I'll erase that. In case of uh, depressurization, I don't have the uh, altitude uh, charts, well, the uh, orbit charts next to me, but uh, it looks like the uh, highest terrain around is, uh, if we look at the uh, F4 uh, navigation display, is 80, so we can go down to uh, flight level uh, 100 or 10,000 feet, in case of a depressurization here. We are mostly over the sea, obviously, there's a few islands and a bit of uh, terrain on these uh, islands, but otherwise we're over the sea and good visual anyways, it's not a major issue. And uh, yeah, that's about it really, we're all set for the cruise, it's a short cruise, it's a set. Happy days!